Hey Shepherds, it's Pastor Elise for Thursday's Faith on the Go, and um, I recognize this is coming a little later than noon today. Um, there's a reason for that, and there's also a reason that I am sitting in my car right now. I'm actually down by the riverfront here in Muscatine. I made it out of my house this morning um, because MSCSA needed some help packaging some food, and we had about 30 to 40 people show up this morning who are looking for bags of food. And actually, it was just this past Tuesday I was told that it was just shy of 100 people came to MCSA looking for food. So first of all, I wanted to let you know what your community is doing to make sure that people here are getting what they need and um, they're working tirelessly. And so if you have a couple spare hours and you're willing to get out of the house for just a little bit, they're taking a lot of precautions to make sure that people stay six feet apart from each other. Hand washing is going on. Um, I do have to say you got to be six year under in order to serve down there because we're just trying to protect people. But if you're interested in helping out right now, and if you're interested in being the church, even outside of our doors, I invite you to go down to MCSA, give them a call, and I'm sure they could use your help. As we were packaging up things to give out today in bags, as one can imagine, bread was a hot, hot item, just like it is for any one of us. And it made me remember what our gospel lesson that we had in worship this past week was. Together we heard of the story of Jesus feeding the 5,000, and he only had five loaves and two fish, and the disciples certainly didn't think it was going to be enough, but by God's provision and through the hands of the disciples distributing it, there was enough. Whether we're thinking about food distribution here in Muscatine or around the country or anything else, right now is the time for us to be the church. The ELCA has adopted this tagline that's actually on my yellow shirt, but I'm really cold right now, so I'm keeping all my layers on. But on this yellow shirt, it has the words, God's work, our hands. And well, God's work is being done, and it's being done through people like you. And it's at a time like this that we're invited to go out and be the church, maybe in new ways than we haven't before. But even in your daily life, even in the daily encounters that you have, the truth is that God's work is being done through you too. God's work is being done through Nora's hands and distributing food. God's work is being done through the hands of our doctors and nurses. God's work is being done through the voices of our leaders who are trying to help make decisions for the rest of us so we all stay safe and protected. God's work is being done through people who are making homemade masks for those who need it. And yes, God's work is being done for you parents as you watch out for your kids and as you create a new rhythm for them at home. God's work is being done as you call and check in on your neighbors, maybe literally the person next door or maybe somebody that's a little bit older. You want to make sure that they're not feeling lonely. God's work is being done as you help and pitch in for some chores, perhaps, kiddos. And God's work is being done even as you just simply spend time together as a family. There are a lot of ways that we can be doing God's work with our hands at such a time of this. And the truth is that it doesn't always look like this great big thing that, you know, it's like, oh, wow, look what I did today. This is God's work and see what the church is doing. Sometimes doing God's work is the little things and making an impact on God's kingdom in the ways that we can. Now, not everything that we do maybe is doing God's work, but it all comes down to intention. And so today, what I invite you to do, my encouragement as our faith on the go is to intentionally do something today, knowing that it is God's work, that it is an act of prayer, and that it does have an impact on other people around you. That's what makes our work God's work. Martin Luther once talked about a shoemaker, and the shoemaker, when he'd be making shoes, he wanted to, to do something and do something for the church, and he felt like he had to put like a cross on every one of the shoes on the bottom sole. But Martin Luther told him, no, you don't have to do that. Just do your work with prayer. And do your work knowing that this work is going to impact others in the kingdom of God. So today, I challenge you to think about your work as prayer. And I also challenge you to think about how you're being intentional about reaching out to those around you in the kingdom of God to make a difference. No matter what you're doing, 
whether you're reaching out beyond your family or if it's just your family or even if you're just living alone by yourself, you can be doing God's work with your hands and we all are doing God's work in some way, shape, and form. But right now we need it more than ever in our world. So will you step up today, shepherds? And will you let God flow through you?